My name is Doug Varia, and I used to be a big fat guy. I weighed 265 pounds, I had a 48 inch waist, I had type 2 diabetes, I was insulin resistant, until I finally decided to do something and learn why the human being gains weight and how the human being loses weight. And I discovered some interesting things that I want to share with you. First of all, the ingredient that makes all of us fat is right here in my hands, sugar. I'm talking about sugar that comes from areas and places that you might not even know you're getting sugar from. So today, I'm going to cook a full day's meal for you to show you where sugar comes from in your life, where you might not even realize it. So let's start with breakfast, shall we? I'm going to pick a nice, healthy cereal, a shredded wheat cereal. We're going to put a cup of it into a bowl. So we'll pour our cup of shredded wheat. And put it in our bowl. That cup of shredded, shredded wheat breaks down to eight and a half teaspoons of sugar. Now what do I mean by that? Well, you see, when we eat food, the body breaks it down into one of three things, either a fat, a protein, or a carbohydrate. Carbohydrates all break down into sugar. Glucose, blood sugar, is what makes us fat. All the excess blood sugar that we do not burn turns into fat. So this particular bowl of cereal turns into the equivalent of eating eight and a half teaspoons of sugar. Now let's add four ounces of milk. Four ounces of milk is the equivalent of two teaspoons of sugar. Now let's make it a little healthier by putting on a banana. This normal sized banana breaks down the same in your body as if you took a teaspoon and ate six teaspoons of sugar right out of a sugar bowl. Now let's add some toast, shall we? I've chosen a healthy whole grain wheat toast. Now we all know wheat toast is healthier, right? Eight teaspoons of sugar. Now let's have some juice with our breakfast. Our eight ounces of cranberry juice, believe it or not, is the equivalent of nine teaspoons of sugar. This breakfast is the equivalent of 43 and a half teaspoons of sugar. Now there's 48 teaspoons of sugar in a cup. So let's take and pour this sugar right into this cup. And this is what we ate for breakfast, right here. 43 teaspoons of sugar. Now I don't think you'd take a teaspoon and sit at your table and eat 43 teaspoons of sugar, would you? But that's exactly what you did when you ate this breakfast. I went out today to a very well-known restaurant. And I bought a bag lunch. I got a 16 ounce soda. I got an order of french fries. I got the healthiest sandwich that they offered, which was a grilled chicken sandwich. And for dessert, a baked apple pie. Let's analyze it. Our 16 ounce soda breaks down to 10 teaspoons of sugar. Our order of french fries is the equivalent of eating 15 teaspoons of sugar. Our healthy chicken sandwich, grilled, is the equivalent of 12 teaspoons of sugar. And our baked apple pie, 8 teaspoons of sugar. So our lunch, our bag lunch today, is the equivalent of 45 teaspoons of sugar. Let's go ahead and add our 45 teaspoons of sugar to our daily intake on top of our breakfast. Now what do we have in store for dinner? Well, I've chosen a nice healthy can of beef stew. And I'm going to put one cup of beef stew into our bowl. <clears throat> now one cup of beef stew 
breaks down to four teaspoons of sugar. Now, mind you, the sugar is not coming from the beef. The sugar is coming from the potatoes, the carrots, and the cornstarch that was used to thicken the gravy inside of the beef stew. Now, on the side, a side order of mac and cheese. Everybody loves mac and cheese. Just a cup, not a lot. Our cup of mac and cheese breaks down to 11 teaspoons of sugar. Now, with our dinner, let's have a soda. As I'm pouring the soda into the glass, I'm pouring 10 more teaspoons of sugar into our dinner. So our dinner in total has turned out to be 33 and a half teaspoons of sugar, three quarters of a cup. So let's add that to our daily intake. The sugar is building up, isn't it? Now, of course, we're going to watch TV tonight. As we watch TV tonight, like most Americans, we're going to have a snack. But I've chosen a healthy snack. I've chosen raisins. Not a lot of raisins. A half cup of raisins. That's all. What does our half cup of raisins break into? Our half cup of raisins breaks down to 14 and a half teaspoons of sugar. Add one more soda to our evening for another 10 teaspoons of sugar. And our healthy evening snack has just added another half cup of sugar to our daily intake. So today's food resulted in over four cups of sugar going into our bodies. Now what you have to realize about sugar is that sugar is the first fuel to burn. The second fuel to burn is going to be protein, and the third fuel to burn is going to be fat. So the first thing we want to eliminate out of our bodies is sugar. Because if our bodies need carbohydrates, and we don't put sugar into our bodies, then our bodies will go find the carbohydrates in the storage areas, like our butts, and our bellies, and other areas where we store fat. Now how much sugar do you think the average American eats in a year? Well, come with me, and I'll show you. Welcome back. We're at one of our favorite grocery stores, and the good people at our grocery store have allowed us to use some of their sugar stock and one of their scales, so we can show you how much sugar the average American eats in one year. Are you ready? Here we go. And there you have it. Almost 150 pounds of sugar each and every one of us Americans eats each and every year. No wonder type 2 diabetes is so high in this country. Now, let's go back to the kitchen, shall we? Now, wasn't that amazing? It's almost hard to believe, but the average American eats over 150 pounds of sugar per year. That's probably more than most children weigh in your family. Now, how do we deal with all this sugar? Well, I've written a book. The name of my book is Fat to Skinny, Fast and Easy. And in my book, I break down for you all the areas where sugar come into your world, all the ingredients you should be eating, wonderful recipes, links that take you out to sugar-free suppliers. And that book is located at fattoskinny.com. You can download the book, it's very inexpensive, have it on your computer immediately, and you'll be able to jump on my program, and you too can lose all the weight you want, fast and easy, in a healthy manner, and eliminate all of this sugar from your world. So please, visit my website, fattoskinny.com.